Here's a quick video of my Ford F-250. Um, it's the 1972. It's really good condition. Um, it is original paint, original motor, original tranny. Looks to seem, seems to have a, maybe 120,000 miles on it. I don't think it's 22,000. Um, I don't think it's 222,000. So it looks about 120, real, real soft 120 though. Um, the reason I can, you know, say this is still got its original paint, original, all the panels are still fit really tight. I mean, if you listen to this door, I barely shut that and it's shut. I mean, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for you here in a second. I mean, it doesn't, can't really find any real rust issues on this truck. It's got this surface rust. Um, it's got these holes from the antennas. There's, um, no, actually, I don't think this one's from the antenna. This one, no, oh, maybe it is. I know for sure this is the antenna for the CB. I just took it off. Um, I'll put it back on or leave it in the truck if someone buys it. Uh, this is, you know, the original 390. The thing is, I had I did not start it up since, I hadn't started up since Thanksgiving and or before thanksgiving today is the december 20th or the 21st and i made a little video earlier inside my shop i started it up there and it i mean it fired the first time best startup i've had with it um and it's been way freezing over here it's been in the low 20s at night and 30s throughout the day uh you can see the original valve covers you know that's kind of how I tell that you know the the miles still too. You know you can tell that they just haven't really replaced a ton of stuff on this motor. Um, not necessarily a great thing, but I guess I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. Um, we'll see. All right, um, go inside. Let me close this hood. Interior is really nice. Interior is really nice. Some stuff that might not show up on the photos is the rub is from the arm right there and right here below the gas tank. This is real common. Both spots are common on trucks. Put, putting your arm on the window ledge and then, you know, in Oregon, unfortunately, we're not allowed to pump our own gas, so we have to depend on, on people to uh, do it for us. And this is what they do. It's... Uh, very common up here another thing that's common up here in the northwest is uh no rust i mean we get you get you get um surface rust but we don't get real rot so door panels like i said the interior is just i mean awesome on this truck i love i i mean one that one thing i love is original cars original paint original interior once someone starts taking stuff apart and restoring stuff, it just, it's just never the same, I think. Comes with the original key. And, um, it's got the inside the glove box here. It's got the protecto plate and for it right here. card oh you know what maybe that's how i can find out the how many owners are on here i'll look at the title and see if that's the same name
Okay, let me go ahead and start it up for you. I'm gonna show you a little bit more inside the vents. Everything works. CB radio works. The just antenna's off for the radio and then CB. I mean, that thing just shuts so nice. leak it tends to quiet down once it warms up all the gauges seem to be working Lights work, brights work. No, oh, so that's my video. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it back into the, the garage. Put it away. If you look at the glass, still got the Ford glass on there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, right there on the wing window, still all that says Ford also. Yeah, so uh, there you go.